Hey everyone, it's Austin and welcome back to my journey to 2000. I'll be playing chess every single day until I reach the 2000 goal. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, all that junk. And let's get into today's game. All right, and into the 10 minute pool we go. Okay, got the black pieces against somebody that is rated the exact same as me. And now we have um, a completely symmetrical Slav, where he is kind of playing it like a Joe Bava London and trying to cheese me. Um, I almost just carelessly went knight f6 in that position, which would have been funny. I don't know if this is supposed to be the move or if the other way is supposed to be the move. But this forces a trade of bishops if I do this. Because he can't drop back, obviously. I suppose he could go... He could go here, but then I get this tempo for free. I don't know. We can review after the game, I guess. Um. Huh. <laughs> What if I just go here? He can't take with the knight because it's a fork. If he takes with the bishop, I can take with the pawn anyway. I'm going to go here. If he goes here, now I can bring the bishop all the way back. Next move, I'm definitely castling. That looks like... A weird move. Um, might not be. So if I go here and he takes here, um, that does that does doesn't work well for me. But now he's got a bit too many attackers on that, so that might be my only choice. I don't, I didn't see another good way to defend it. Okay, that seems um, short-sighted to me. And taking with the pawn seems weird, for sure. So we're gonna go here, 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 here. And we're gonna play against the uh, backwards uh, C pawn. Okay. That's definitely a mad decent move. He's definitely able to get some tempo on me here. Ugh. right now I'm threatening this pawn and then of course um, the knight defends this pawn so that's helpful if he goes here I can take it probably pawn takes just to shake things up a little bit no no probably not pawn takes I changed my mind so here, 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 here. That doesn't make sense. It actually like needs to be pawn takes. Because otherwise, um, this pawn hangs. So now, if I go here, takes, 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 I'm just not loving my position right now. I don't really feel like I hate it either. I just don't see a good way to proceed. Mm -hmm. 
I go here. Takes, 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 takes. Takes. And then I just kind of like don't have anything to play for. So what can I do to support that move? Because I would love to disconnect his rooks. I don't really see what I can do to help make that move happen. I think I need to get my queen a bit more active. I'm thinking about like going queen here. Oh my God. Oh, Austin. Oh, Austin. Wow. It's been a rough couple of days, huh guys? It's all good. It's all good. This move, I don't understand. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, takes here, if he takes the pawn, I have this fork. Then he can go there. Then I take this. And he doesn't have time to take my rook. His queen's still hanging. Maybe. He can go here. That's a weird, very good move. Son of a gun. Yeah. I'm just uh, getting outclassed here for sure. Opponent's very strong. Defend my queen so that way I can try to still take this knight. We got opponents very strong. I mean, or I'm just playing very weak. I don't know. I think it's probably a combination of both. <laughs> you can see the the litter box in the back. That's funny. Uh, fiance brought home a stray cat last night, and I just took it to the Humane Society. That's a free queen. Wow. Okay. Weird ending to that game, huh? That's why you gotta keep the, the stick on the ice. Okay, so we had e5 there. But what I played was still... Like, we're, we're equalized at this point. It liked bishop e7 more, but ultimately, like, it's not... It's just an equal game. Taking was better, but I was trying to not... I mean, like, it's literally perfectly symmetrical. Like... I don't even know what to do in this position. It's so boring. Um, yeah, this is a blunder because he had bishop takes. Why does he have bishop takes? Oh, I'm just losing a pawn. That makes sense. I was trying to play it kind of like a London with the colors reversed. Yeah, this was lazy. I mean, oh, sorry. I think this move would have been better. This was an inaccuracy, and what I played was a good move. Knight a5 right away would have been better. Um, yeah, I mean, so my only choice was knight b3, but I thought that I was losing a pawn here. This is a mistake. 
Oh, the rook is hanging. Okay, that makes sense. I just missed that. Um, so, you know, we just, uh, kept our stick on the ice here. This was a mistake. No, because the pawn's hanging now. Yeah. He just needed to take with the pawn. Or, sorry, sorry. He could do this. And then do this. And, like, be completely winning. I don't know. Let's play another one. Yeah, we're only 10 minutes in. We played that game pretty quick. Got the fantasy. Holy smokes. <laughs> you think I wanted to play that move or what? So, when I go knight f6, it's actually really important that, like, you realize that this pawn isn't actually hanging. I can show it after the game, but I've been trying to study the fantasy a little bit more, because I have been seeing it more. Um, and, yeah, it's just important to keep these things in mind. So, I think if you take, now I have this check, and then knight takes because if i take with the knight first it's helpful to keep the queens on in in fantasy positions and then usually what i do is i go bishop d6 after this and um you know just reinforce that pawn castle develop normally um i actually score very poorly against the fantasy because after getting the initial setup i don't really know very well what the plans are in the position like i could definitely use a a better theoretical understanding of like the ideas like you know where should your pieces go? Like, what what kind of things should you play for? Like, I know all of that for all the other variations of the Karokan. Yeah, that's a very natural move that opponents play. It's also pretty standard for, like, a lot of different Karokan positions as well to go C3 and have your knight on um, D2 instead of C3. But yeah, it's really important that we castle, obviously. I think going for a queenside pawn expansion, like going b5, is actually like a bad idea in these positions, but I can't remember. And I don't think that I ever really want to take. Okay. So that's like a completely standard move. Um... Wow. So I'm losing that pawn because obviously if I don't castle right now, he's taking this pawn. If I do this, I'm losing a pawn. Um, if I do this, not only am I losing this pawn, but in my opinion, it's, it's worse for me because now I'm losing that pawn in a crappy way. Um, so let's just castle. I guess. I don't freaking know. I'm losing this pawn, but I honestly think I'm going to. Now that his queen is off sides, I might try to have a little bit of fun with this king. I don't know. If he goes here, I mean, if I just try to be lazy and go rook. B8, I mean, both of these pawns are hanging. Just doesn't, just doesn't work good. So I'm thinking about just striking in the center and just playing knight takes. And if here, 
I have plenty of ammo facing that direction. Yeah, so I just feel like I don't really agree with this. I mean, obviously I can't prove anything, but he takes a pawn, I can take a pawn. I mean, like, what are some other candidate moves? I don't, don't even see it. Let's just play what's natural for now. Try to let him prove me wrong. Yeah, so now my knight is hanging and my bishop is hanging at the same time. So, um, I can defend my knight. Or I will have to move my... Well, I pretty much have to defend my knight, actually. Alright. Well, I can do this. That move looks kind of fancy. Huh. This is defending the bishop with my queen at the same time as defending this knight. Feels pretty strong. If you're... Yeah, that's definitely a concern. So let's do this first. It's defending the knight, which is defending the uh, bish bishop, which is safe. So now after this, we can go knight, um, knight df6. And now he can't uh, take this pawn anymore, which of course is helpful. Um, I think if I'm able to relieve the tension in the center and play things like rook c8, get my queen on the long diagonal, um, life's not going to be terrible for me. Everything's defending everything else pretty nicely. I don't know. Let's try to find his best move. Can't really put the bishop anywhere except here. Knight can go here. But that's no threat, so I'm taking the pawn. Okay, so if you do that... I don't... Okay, so now it's two attackers, two defenders. Or sorry, sorry. Two attackers, one defender on the knight. So that is um, slightly scary, I guess. If I play this, he can't play queen takes knight. Where does he go with this queen? He has to stay on the diagonal in order to maintain pressure on my knight. So if he goes here, I can go here. So let's just do this. Otherwise, um, you know, now I can kind of leave my knight where it is, which is kind of nice. Um, so let's go here. Obviously, this has the added benefit of this being hanging, so um, if he takes with the queen, I have this, takes, here, takes, feels pretty fancy for sure, but you know, when you, when you play 
your F pawn forward and you leave this uh, long or this diagonal exposed. Uh, earlier I said I put my queen on the long diagonal. This is not the long diagonal. Ignore what I say and pay more attention to what I'm doing, maybe. I don't know. And obviously if he takes with the pawn, the, the bishop's just hanging. So I feel pretty good at this exact moment. He also just doesn't have to recapture the pawn if he doesn't want to. Um, and I can't just take this because now it's two attackers, two defenders on my knight. Or sorry, two, I keep saying that, two attackers, one defender on my knight. So depending on what he does before I take, I might have to go rook e8. Um, might be more beneficial to go here instead okay i like this move from him i can also just alleviate the tension by playing um takes 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 here and then this seems like a good move check and then things are looking pretty loose for him. Mm hmm So there's no reason for me to keep my knight there, I don't think. So let's just go here. And it might be more beneficial for me to develop my queen instead of... No. I don't think... Yeah, you know what? I really don't think that I want his bishop to come here. So I think I'm going to do this. Defending the pawn. Threatening this. Check. I don't want his bishop here putting pressure on my knight and his rook's already there and like... Kind of like asking for trouble, in my opinion, in that position. Um, that looks like a really good... Idea what he has going there so if I go here now is there any benefit to this move potentially if I go here this move looks really nice here let's say here takes if he takes i take this and i'm threatening to promote rook here um rook back and he has to go rook back it's looking pretty good um i just need to play it i mean i'm up on the clock for once so i actually didn't need to hurry up with that but what i'm seeing for you guys is that this check will be defended by my bishop after I take this pawn. Which is really nice because then after I take the pawn, the queen is also going to see this bishop. Okay. So now he's hitting both pieces. Um. Do I, am I able to interfere with anything? No. So what's my play here? What if I go here? Then he goes here. Now this check is defended again. But at the after he moves his king, then I can take. So if I go here, what what is he playing? This? Well, that would work pretty damn good. Give this check to win the rook, actually. Okay, let's go here. His best move might just be to take this. I don't know. Pawn in the middle is hanging now. But obviously so is checkmate. If he goes here, it's mate. I mean, we're just vibing.
just trying to give my opponent things to think about. His name is Canada84, and he's got the United Kingdom flag. That's peak comedy right there. Wow, I can't believe I hung a piece last game. It's kind of funny. I, um, I also haven't been warming up for any of my videos. Which might be stupid. Now the pawn's not hanging anymore. Yeah, he goes here. Um... Okay, so... <laughs> Trying to think about this logically. If I go here, he's threatening pawn takes. And that's not good. If I go here, he has this move. And how am I defending that? I think I need to sack an exchange in that position, which obviously does not bode well for me. Um, what if I go here and attack his bishop? He's moving his bishop anyway, so that doesn't make sense. Um, I feel like this has to be the move, and after this, I can just go here, or after this, um, pawn takes, um, go here first to threaten. No, that doesn't even threaten checkmate. Um, I'm wasting a ton of time, though, so... This is giving me the opportunity to now play this move to defend the pawn again. Um, this doesn't do anything. Gotta, gotta start playing much faster. I don't see a way for him to... No, he can. If I go here, he can pin my bishop to my queen, which I don't like. So, in the... In the idea that we have... Okay, that's a free queen. No, it's checkmate. I'm getting mated here, I think. Is this checkmate? Um. No, I'm just losing my queen. Um. No reason to give up my... other pieces as well. I was thinking about interfering with the bishop, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go here. Stroking the beard like crazy. Sorry about it. He technically could have taken there. If I go there, he has the skewer. Mm. Okay. I basically have uh, no moves right now. Yep, there it is. Take this. Um, Now what is he up? I don't know. Yeah, I'm obviously losing here. But can he finish it in time? Yeah, he can. That sucks. I might play a third one. Wow, that really sucked. Yeah, I mean, it happens, you know, um, just started getting low on time. 
So this was the better move after C takes. Now what? Rook B8. I mean, this seems so superficial. He's just taking all my pawns. What if he takes this one to defend the pawn and attack my bishop? I have this move. And this is supposedly better for black. There's That's so impractical in my opinion. Yeah, I found a lot of great moves here. That's an awesome move. Didn't even see that. This is equal now. Um, that was the best move. Good move. Going up was better. So if I go up and he goes here, what's the move? Um, am I sacking the exchange? Rook fe8. No, I'm sacking the pawn. What? Wow. But this is a draw now. But I guess white was winning. So this is a brilliant move. Because after this, now he's winning the queen back. So this was a better move, really. Okay. And after bishop takes... Bishop takes, rook takes. Now I'm going rook c2, but this is just so much better for white. Let's play a third one. Um, he had that he found that awesome tactic. I mean, what to say? That was crazy. Okay. That's committing that you're not going to bishop. That is just not where the bishop belongs when you're playing black against the London, so. Let's just keep it a buck and try to play a good game here. Wow, that was a crazy tactic. He literally got a brilliancy for it. Very nice. Very nice. If he goes here now, okay. If he goes here now. Oh shoot, what was I gonna say? After the last game, I wanted to show you that one fantasy situation, but I forgot. If he goes here now, I keep trying to say this. The the move is to go bishop g5 to induce weaknesses. Um Wow. Let's send it. That pawn is hanging. Hmm. It appears that I may have misplayed this, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't take long, huh? So my pawn's hanging. Both of my pawns are hanging. This pawn and this pawn. So the only move that defends that is this, which that move sucks to play right now. Um, is there another move that defends both? This, but then just this. And there's no tactics that I can see. No, there might be. There actually might be. Here, I have my bishop too that I forgot about. If he goes there and I go bishop takes. Pawn takes, queen takes, king here. Check. Here. Wow, he's not mated somehow. So if he goes here, interesting choice. Hmm. Wow. I don't know.
If I go here now, and I go queen here, that seems better. I bet you, you know what? I bet you I'm missing e4. I bet you e4 was a good move in, a, in one of these positions, and I should have been playing that. You know what? This is a good move, too. To pressure that pinned piece. So if he goes here now, I have this move. If I go take hitting queen here, here, he can block with his queen. He has a lot of different moves. And I'm not convinced that's good for, good for me. Um, bishop takes here, queen takes. He can't block with anything now. And if he goes king this way, What's my next idea? Here, here, here. Or no, I have this check to pick up the rook. I don't know, let's play it. It seems fun, right? Of course he doesn't have to take. Okay, he's taking. <laughs> Yeah, let's take an exchange. Are there any other exchanges worth looking at? Or any other moves worth looking at real quick? Probably not. I need the exchange after uh, sacking that. Hmm. Now, what's the idea? If I go here, I lose a pawn. I can give this check, and he can't block with anything. Yeah, you can block with the queen, I guess. Um. Hmm. Not seeing anything terribly convincing. Kind of like want to go here to defend everything, and then when he attacks my queen, I can just back it off all the way to c2. I think my king is safest in the middle right now. I don't see a way for him to hit this knight, so I like this. I like it that when he puts a rook on this open file that it's not hitting a hanging pawn. I just think that that's kind of natural. This, uh... These ideas. Okay, so now he has an opportunity after he goes, um... If I go like queen back, say for instance, he can go uh, here and then, um, you know, where's my knight going? So if I go here, I'm getting hit by rook g7. No, because it's hanging. I'm just going to get my queen out. I'm down on the clock. I need moves that I can play fast. So now he he wants to go uh, bishop g6. So I'm going to play this move to prevent it. 100%. I'm thinking about going takes, takes, and then... Uh, Night in this night in. Pretty complicated game. What if I go here? That move looks kind of neat. I really don't like where my knight is. Well, now I have an opportunity to change that. But I'm trading off one of the only pieces defending my king. So is that really worth it? I think I want to go here. He wants to go here. So if I go here, takes, takes and then start chipping away. 
Perhaps that's a good idea. Because if I go here now, here, now he's getting his queen active. It's all kind of scary. It's all a little bit spooky, that's for sure. This is probably very short-sighted, but oh well. This move is looking quite appealing at the moment. To hit this pawn and this pawn. Depending on what he plays next. Trying to like keep the center closed. Okay, I like that move. I like that move. Let's bust it open. This side of the board, I mean. I can technically always castle king side. It might not be good, but it's possible. So what is even the material count? I'm up one because I have two pawns. Oh god. I have one of his rooks. For two pieces. And two pawns. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. I like this move from my opponent. I think it's a very friendly move. I'm guessing he wants to go like queen here or something. And just say that I'm worse in the end game. Yep. Well, I kind of have no choice here, so let's uh, liquefy everything. Other rooks uh, going to come here. No, maybe not. It's not ready yet. Ooh, this is a neat looking move. Ooh, that's sexy. Oh, I quite like that. Shoot. Should have known better. Oopsies. This is actually. Yeah. Not looking good. <laughs> just because, like. Whoa, what does that move do? He's just pushing P, huh? I like it. I like his approach. Oh, wow. Very nice. I need to start pushing pawns myself. Keep checking me, bruv. I don't know if I care. You can just play this. 
Uh, needless to say, I'm completely busted. Like I have been for a while, but in case you guys didn't know. Wow, I'm actually so hungry. Wow, long episode today, huh, guys? We've been we've been having really long episodes. So I won one, and I lost two. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not even upset with the way that I performed last game. Last game, he just found an awesome move you know what to say okay You can literally just do this, like, yeah. Um, I'm still recording my video, babe. If I like this idea from him, I think he just needed to keep the stick on the ice. If he goes there, I'm just going here. And uh, with where my king is, I should just kind of be able to maneuver my king around and maybe help support the pawns promote. I don't know. Um, let's make sure I'm not getting skewered or anything. This move looks good. No, because then he has this check to pick up a pawn. Um, if I go here, what checks does he have? I don't think he has any. Gotta look out for like this diagonal, obviously. That's a nice move. This might be short-sighted, but I want to give my opponent some problems to think about. While I'm trying to win all of his pieces. Here, here. No, that's check, so. Oh, no, 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 this bishop is defending it. Well, not anymore. Well, thank you so much. That was mighty kind of you. That was mighty kind of you. Still has no checks. Um. That's a pretty good idea, I think. Hmm. Let's go here. Hmm. 
it appears that mistakes have been made. How about that? I don't I don't know if I was winning at all at any point. I mean at this point I'm honestly better off just letting him promote. So let's just do this. That's the right move to make. Um let's go here. Yeah. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> I actually got my hopes up. Man, I just want to keep playing. Oh, I had knight takes. Queen takes. I always miss these tactics. It's hard not to get frustrated with yourself, man. So, this is technically negative uh, 0.5. This was a mistake because I had this move right away, but I didn't like, what didn't I like right away? I didn't like this. But this is, wait for it to load. This is a mistake because of B takes C. Yeah, I don't need to take the pawn. And obviously if he pushes it, that would be pretty short-sighted of him. I think I could probably take the bishop. Yeah, that's what it's saying. And then just keep pushing. Um, this is a blunder. Oh, because his bishop is trapped. Oh, wow. I mean, this makes sense. Queen f7, best move. Um, obviously we're taking here. Rook takes. Is a very bad move for him. Why? Because now I can long castle. Um, so it wanted me to just sack the exchange and I thought about this, I really did. This would have given me better chances. Um, you know, I'm within spitting distance of winning every single one of these games. It's so crazy. I should have just sacked here. Oh, because the bishop was overloaded. Why is this a blunder? What move? Yeah. Which he found later, which makes sense. Yeah, so. Now I'm winning. What did I screw up? This was a mistake. Wow, look at this. I had to hang my, I had to hang my rook. Because I just didn't have enough time. G7 first. So I can promote a protected queen. Queen eight, or rook A8. Um, this. Takes check here. Now what about this? D5 check. Which makes sense. I also like... Played a little bit stupid here because... I kind of walked myself to the edge. I mean, it was mate in two versus mate in one. Like, this is just, you know, checkmate anyway, but yeah. So it was, it was rook c3. Rook c3 did it to me. And I guess g6 didn't help either. Rook f1. Trade it, but what about? I'm so confused. This is not just. Oh, okay. No, it was still winning for him. I was about to say, like, what? Yeah, so I mean. Playing on the edge of the board was really stupid of me, but. Wow, good for him. Anyway, um, this has been an extremely long video. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you made it this far, leave a comment down below and tell me that you made it this far because that would be crazy. One, one, uh, lost two, but the ones that I lost, you know, it was really close. That's all I can say. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow.